Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. This is my little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And today, once again, I'm going to take you back into the 80s with VHS Prime Cut Choice. Now, it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to figure out that, yes, I am indeed a product of the 80s. That's the generation I grew up in, and of course that's the generation I was first exposed to when it comes to horror films. Back in those days, the format of VHS was ruled by mom and pop shops, video rental stores. Now, for your younger viewers, you may not have any idea what the hell I'm talking about, and that's a shame because back in the days of going into a video store, it was like a kid in a candy shop. You walk in, and it was just thousands of video choices. Great titles, nobody ever wanted anymore. Old classic VHS horror and sci-fi. You know, when Blockbuster videos came along, they kind of like brainwashed people into that the newest was the best, and they would buy 200 copies of the newest video. And after six months, they would sell all but three because they were no longer new. Heaven forbid you have a movie more than six months old, Blockbuster. That's why you're out of business. Anyways, back on track here. God help you if you ever wanted to find a decent horror film in a Blockbuster film. Now, maybe I'm just partial to the uh, mom and pop shops. I actually worked in one before I went to college. And that's when I got my exposure to many, many great horror films. Free. That's why you're out of business, too. Now, way back in the days, all that early cheesy sci-fi and horror can be kind of traced back, kind of like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, traced back to a company called Troma. Now, of course, Troma is still around today, but of course they're not quite the same thing back then. The movies back then were um, different. you got to understand, this was a time frame when many young filmmakers, term used the term usually, young directors, filmmakers, had instant access to professional gear via the video camera. Many of these films went straight to video back in those days because it was an instant market and all you had to do was think about $20,000 of your own money in there and get a girl to wear a bikini, throw some blood on her, take a picture, there's your cover. A great example of this early art form is Splatter University. This film is, it is so god awful, it's great. First you were frightened by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then you were terrorized by Halloween, and now prepare to be pulverized, traumatized, and hospitalized by Splatter U. More horrifying than you could possibly imagine. Unlike anything you've ever seen. Hey guys, let's party! Splatter University where the school colors are blood red, and not only classes are cut. No! At Splatter U, everyone parties and has a ball. At Splatter U, it's not whether you pass or fail, but whether you live. <coughs> or die. Yes, at Splatter U, the only requirement is survival. Splatter you. It's the only education you'll ever need. Enroll now at a theater near you and earn a higher degree in terror. <laughs> Splatter you. Classic story. Psycho escapes from a local insane asylum or asylum hospital, goes crazy, stalks to nearest co ed college. Cheesy blood, cheesy music. That's all it took back then. Splatter University is one of the high watermarks of that. I think it's maybe it's just the title. Splatter you. This title's so great. How could that not have spawned ten sequels? We're gonna bring this back to 1984. This is a great example of Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. And yes, the movie is just about as bad as the title. Featuring the hit cult classic, Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. For my monster from the slab began. Alien life forms invade Middle Texas. All of a sudden, the locals start to act a little stranger, and it's kind of teeters on a zombie movie. I guess it's a zombie movie, but alien movie at the same time. They didn't really cross the genres. It's not even that intelligent of a film, but it is amazing. They got a vomit gag scene. You can totally tell it's a hose. I first saw that one when I was working in the video store, and 
that helped fuel the passion of it, that helped fuel the passion of all this around me and the show you're watching now. This next film is from 1987, a little bit later in the decade. It's called The Last Slumber Party. Summertime and the living is easy. <laughs> Three months of non-stop party and we start to yeah. I just wanted to have a slumber party and a good time. <laughs> Sneaking a few guys. Get a little high and have lots of fun. You scared the hell out of me. What's the matter? But tonight turns into a game of survival. As one by one, the kids end up dead. <clears throat> the last slumber party. Where the girls are dying for a good time. This film embodies every horror cliche that has been established throughout the decade before it. Right down from the mental patient escaping from the hospital, he knocks out the worker, grabs the scrubs, walks out the door, and all of a sudden he's a psycho killer. He's so, so menacing with his little scalpel. He pretty much just put it up to the girl's neck and it squirted out blood. It was great. It must have been wicked deadly sharp. This film is beautifully terrible. The girls all have like that classic 80s hair. Not like the 80s hair from 1984. You know, back when they felt they needed to be four inches taller for whatever reason. I can't tell which is bigger, the screams or the hair. <laughs> but I'm talking about the girl's hair from 1987. You be the judge now. We're down to our final helping of this VHS Prime Cut episode. This takes us back all the way to the beginning of the decade, 1980 itself. Motel. You may never again spend a night away from home. After you spend a night with Ida and Vincent. Ida will show you the way. You want us to uh, register? No, that won't be necessary. Terrifying nightmare could never prepare you for what happens to the guests. One after another, they come. One after another, they check in. And pray for the day they can check out. You'll never forget Ida. What are you doing? My hair curled. And you'll never forget Vincent. as you try, you'll never forget their secret garden. If you have the nerve, come for a night and stay for a nightmare. Motel Hell. Motel Hell. This film had a brilliant marketing scheme. I mean, the cover alone is enough to disturb anybody. It's to basically the guy wearing the pig head with the chainsaw. I mean, that was enough to get me to rent it. Basically, it's a, a different flavor of cannibalism, no pun intended. This was right at that time where chainsaws were big, women were screaming, and blood was flying. And of course, it's all topped off with a pig head. What's special about this farmer's fritters? Watch the movie and find out. Well, that's all we have time for on today's Prime Choice VHS Cuts. Check them out. Don't make me be the only one suffering through all these films. Enjoy them, love them, embrace your inner video troll. My name is Andy. Good night. Cut.